Now, while school is out, some districts have been using online programs to help kids keep learning. At 530, we told you about some students who don't have access to the Internet. Well, now we're learning about resources that can help close that digital divide. KCTV5's Casey Jones is live this morning from Eisenhower Middle School. And in KCK this week, the district is giving out devices, Casey. That's right. In a little more than an hour, parents will start coming here with their students to pick up Chromebooks curbside. But the sad reality is some of those students will go home to houses that do not have Internet connection. In fact, the FCC estimates that more than 22 million homes across the country do not have access to the Internet. Now, some districts rely on the one million project to help connect students with hotspots. Districts get devices donated or buy them at a discount through this program. This is a map of the districts across the metro that use the One Million Project. This gives you an idea of the places where students need help getting access to the internet. The president of One Million says this is not a new problem, but now more people are paying attention. The need to ensure connectivity for everyone has been uh, magnified significantly by the pandemic and administrators are preparing for the future. I'd also say, because the spotlight has now been shown uh, or shined upon the homework gap, I think educators and communities will pay, be paying a lot more attention in the years to come to ensuring digital equity. Across the state line, KCPS has ordered 5,000 hotspots and 2,000 smartphones through that 1 million project, but still some students will get left out. At 632, I'm going to tell you more about some resources for parents to make sure their students stay connected. Reporting live from KCK, Casey Jones, KCTV 5 News. All right, thanks, Casey.